Uh, we are here back with the zoo to you. My name is Mary and this is Mary Lynn. We're a couple of the small mammal keepers here at the Central Florida Zoo. Today we're going to be introducing you to our ring tail lemurs. Now you may notice uh, we have our habitat here, but there are no lemurs out right now. And that's because we were just putting out some enrichment items for them. They have some kebabs made with sedge. It's a uh, plant, so it's easy for them, so they don't have to worry about them chewing on it because they will test everything um, by tasting it. So we want to be sure it's something that they're not going to consume. <laughs> and we have some palm fronds, some brows, some ice pops, which are currently melting. But the boys are in their night house right now. So uh, think about it like your own house. What you see out here is just a snapshot. You're going to have bedrooms, different other spaces. So the boys are currently in their bedroom while we prepared stuff out here on their main habitat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the boys come out from their night house. We're gonna talk a little bit about lemurs and what we can do to help save the lemurs. All right, Mary Lynn, I think we are ready. I'm gonna pan out of frame so we can watch the boys and their excitement with the enrichment here. They're really excited about grapes, they love grapes. All right. So most people, when they think about a lemur, they think about these guys. These are ring tail lemurs. We have two, they are twin brothers. They are six years old. But did you know that there are over a hundred different lemurs and the only place to find them is on the island of Madagascar. Lemurs, they are prosimians. They are a type of primate. So other primates include monkeys, apes, and humans. Now, unlike monkeys, lemurs have a moist nose and rely heavily on their sense of smell. Unfortunately, lemurs are among the most threatened group of mammals. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature estimates that over 95% of lemurs face extinction in the next 20 years. Here at the Central Florida Zoo, we have many conservation efforts, and just a few examples on how we are helping lemurs include our managed population of breeding with um, red rough lemurs through species survival plan, education through our lemur ambassadors like the ringtail boys here, and by celebrating World Lemur Day, we also have a Roundup program at the front entrance through our ticket purchases that go to many conservation efforts, including those helping the island of Madagascar. So you may be wondering, how can we all help lemurs from home, especially during a pandemic? Well, some simple ways include conserving energy, like turning off the light and leaving the room, and recycling and reusing products. These small changes can help with global environmental challenges that can upset the balance of flora and fauna in Madagascar. Another way is to not share that cute video on social media of a lemur as a pet. These videos may seem harmless to share, but as they become more popular and shared more often, there's an increased spike seen in the lemur pet trade. Now, I know of quite a few dogs and cats at your local shelter that are looking for a forever home, but please leave the lemurs in the forest. Lemurs and other primates do not make good pets. You can also help by buying sustainable products like vanilla. Madagascar is the world leading producer of vanilla. When farmers cannot make a living from cough, production, they can be tempted to proceed with the illegal logging, sometimes in protected areas, or with slash and bird clearing of forests. And the last way, another simple way to help, is by simply using your voice to spread the word of what you've learned this Earth Day to friends, family, and your community. Many people don't know that over 95% of the lemurs are threatened with extinction. So the boys, looks like they found almost, if not all of the grapes, I think there's just a couple of grapes still needing to be found. At uh, this time, um, we can answer any questions that you may have. So, Ayla, what kind of questions? Um, we only have one question so far. Okay. Uh, this is from one of our top fans, Rachel. Rachel. Do you have a favorite species of lemur? Oh my gosh, what a question to ask, Rachel. Uh, <laughs> that's a tough one. Every lemur is special in their own way. Uh, they all hold a very special place in my heart. So the ringtail lemurs, uh, they are pretty awesome. They're rambunctious boys. If I'm looking for a quick burst of energy, I always come check out and see what the boys are doing if they're not napping. Um, but I also have a strong connection with the red rough lemurs because I've watched them as a family unit and uh, watched their little family grow. So that's a hard one, which I don't think we'll, we'll ever have a true answer to. Um, Rachel also asked, what is their favorite treat? What is their favorite treat? But as you can see, they're really liking the grapes. And I would like to point out some scent marking that uh, one of our boys is doing. Elliot is scent marking that guinea grass uh, holder, basically like a nice little planter for them. He's sniffing it. He's had that 
all day. I don't know why now it's so interesting, but I'm excited about it. So is he. That's uh, so what he was doing. They have oils all over and they were, uh, he was fed marking. Um, but their favorite foods are definitely gonna be fruit. It has a lot of sugar to it, so don't get fruit very often. Uh, but fruit's gonna be one of their favorites. But if, uh, if it's not a fruit uh, day or time for fruit, corn and sweet potatoes are always a big hit. How can you tell the boys apart from Brittany? Brittany, how can I tell the boys apart? Well, I've worked with them uh, for quite a bit of time now, but if you were just to look at them, Figment, he is the dominant one. He is a little bit larger, and you can tell with the base of the tail where the rings start, his goes directly to the first black ring. Elliot has a little bit of a gray patch before the first black ring of his ring tail. Uh, he's also a little bit smaller, and he's gonna be the one that's easily pushed aside. Uh, lemurs, uh, especially ring tails, they are run by matriarchs, so if we had a female in here, she would be the one in charge, and they do not see me as a matriarch, unfortunately. Uh, so they will determine their social hierarchy through scent marking and um, stink fighting. So Figment won the stink fighting battle and he is our dominant one. That's just a couple of ways to tell them apart. Uh, we are enjoying our movable prop here. That is a branch that we can move around. You can see it's on clips. We have different eye bolts in different areas. We can move it around every day. It makes their home more dynamic. And that came from a different habitat. So it smells different and it's in a new location. So he's showing off his balancing skills with eating um, that grape off of this edge. Good question. Alexis would like to know, uh, do they like to swim or play with water? Do they like to swim or play with water? These boys do not. Uh, Ringtail lemurs, you're gonna find them in the dry, thorny thicket, uh, south part of Madagascar, where um, it's not very much of a uh, rainforest. So they tend to be in more dry areas. Whenever we offer them water, we don't tend to see them actively messing around with it too much. If we put food in it to float, they very gently just don't want to touch the water and try to pick the food out. They get most of their cleaning done with this um, social grooming. So they don't need to worry about splashing around in the water. I typically don't see these boys play with it very much. Samuel, Rose, and Emma would like to know why uh, are their tails black and white? Why are their tails black and white? So that is a great question. Uh, once again, they're found in the drier areas, the thorny thicket, um, forests of Madagascar. So they're gonna be found in a lot of rock caves. That is one way to help them to blend in. It's also kind of like a flag for them. They'll wave their tails around. Not only is it gonna smell, especially if they've been stink fighting, but they can see it and they can use that as a beacon to follow one another. So it's a great adaptation um, to find each other and to also camouflage in our natural surroundings. Top fan Kara would like to know the difference between ringtail lemurs and red ruff lemurs. The difference between ringtail lemurs and red ruff lemurs. Now there's a lot that goes into that. Uh, the biggest one that I can talk about right now, once again, is just that location. So I mentioned a lot of dry southern areas, Madagascar for ringtail boys. Red ruffs are the exact opposite. They're going to be found in the lush rainforest. There's going to be a lot more um, options for them food-wise as far as the fruits goes. There's gonna be a size difference. Red ruffs are, um, as far as grouping of lemur day, they're one of the larger uh, lemurs, so there's gonna be a size difference, location difference. Broadcast interruption there. But we are back with our ringtail lemurs and we're gonna answer those last couple of questions. If you had any other questions, feel free to drop them down below and we'll try to get as many answered as we can. Uh, I believe we had one about stink fighting, is that correct? Yes. All right, so we want to know why do they stink fight? So as I was talking about earlier, they are matriarchal, so they are run by a female. But with two males being in here, they're still going to determine dominance. So they have those uh, oil glands on the anoint their tails, and then they'll wave it back and forth like a stinky flag, and the lemur that smells the worst wins, and that's going to be the dominant one. They can also use that unique um, lemur musk aroma to attract some females. So they'll use that when they're trying to... Um, Look attractive to a female, so they can use that for quite a few different reasons. That's a good question. Do they have a favorite enrichment item to play with? Do they have a favorite enrichment item to play with? So anything with food, of course, is going to be a big one for them. We try to make their um, food the way we offer it to them 
in a lot of different ways involving puzzles. So we try to let them elicit those natural behaviors that they would in the wild instead of just having their food placed out in front of them. They really like the sedge because as I mentioned, it's like a edible string that we can use to tie food up and then sometimes they'll chew at the end of it. It's just a, a fancy grass that we can use to tie stuff on. The movable props are a big one. As I mentioned, it makes their home more dynamic, especially if it came from another habitat they will like to use their scent to mask the scent that's on it. So they'll spend a lot of time messing with that. Anything they can rip open. So boxes are a big one for them. Uh, and then the sedge, I would say, is probably their favorite as far as their food enrichment. And food enrichment is always going to be a favorite. Dana wants to know, what's your favorite lemur fact? Oh my gosh, my favorite lemur fact. That's a tough one. Uh, one that I find really cool is that lemurs have two tongues. They have their tongue that they, you know, are going to eat with and use with eating. And then they have another, like a sublingual tongue underneath that they use for grooming. It's freaky and it's really cool. Two tongues. Favorite fact. <laughs> There's a few. I have so many that I'm just going to keep talking. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up the questions there. I would like to thank everybody for celebrating Earth Day with us once again. We hope that you feel inspired to go out there and be the change you'd like to see in the world. We'd also like to take this opportunity to thank all of our volunteers during this National Volunteers Appreciation Week. We miss all of you very much, human and animals alike. We can't wait to see you guys in your smiling faces once again. So thank you for everything that you do and for putting your passion into um, all the work that you do here with us. And we'll see you on the next CDU.